Well, I've just come from Barwick and Elmet down this road, which is called Long Lane. And not very far, turn into Highfield Lake, which is part of the Leeds and District amalgamation. So I drive down to Highfield Farm, which is obviously part of the Parlington Estate, according to this. Obviously, some big estate there, based in Oxford. So I just travel, drive down this little gravel track to the farm. So I've just driven down the lane, around the corner, past the buildings. And this is the entrance to the fishery, and there is an honesty box at this point. And it's you have to put five pounds in the box. That's it there. There's the new Leeds data sign. It's the uh, latest acquisition of Leeds. And today, which is the, it's the 18th of May, the gates are locked at 8 o'clock in the evening and they open at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I just make my way along this lane here to the parking place and the lake itself. The road comes along here from the farm buildings, you can see there. Around this corner. And the main parking area is down there. But if that's full, you can park here, at the top. There's a little board of rules here. No we'll keep nets allowed, that's nice, nice to see. Barbless hooks only. No ground bait, boilies or nuts. Excess bait must be taken away and not thrown into the water. Hmm. And no floating baits, says that. And that's a, a list of all the matches. 2022. Leeds matches, looking at that, Graham Park, the General Secretary of Leeds. So there is the car park, and just I turn round, there is the lake. So first impression is very nice, <laughs> this little valley, and uh, very shallow at this end where it first where it comes in. So there it is, I feel lake. How do I walk around? See what I can see. What I can see. It's mainly silvers. I mean, there are a few carpets there in here. But uh, there's uh, perch, roach, bream, and, uh, and some lovely hide, which uh, you don't normally find in uh, Leeds waters. It's essentially pleasure fishing. So it's just an easy walk along the bank here. If you've got a barrel, absolute doddle. And the pegs near the car park, it's very shallow. See lots of lily pads there, lots of weed. The small springs all the way along the valley side here. <laughs> this one in particular is a few duckboards there, we have to splodge your way through it. This is peg five. Lots of people fishing opposite. <laughs> and there's, uh, there's an island in the middle. And the fish just gone cruising past between me and the island. It must have been three or four pounds, I don't know what it would be. This is peg 12, and uh, lots of Canadian pondweed in the, all the way across here. 
You see the pigs on the opposite side there are empty. Well, I'm at the bottom of the lake now, or near the bottom. There's a, a vegetable armada of fish here cruising the surface. Not being a carp specialist, I have no idea what they are. Well, there's a fair number of them, I think there are about 13 or 14 of them. Which is probably why they don't allow floating beds. Someone will tell me what they are. blue flower is called brooklime, a marshy plant. There's some nice marsh marigolds there. See if I can sneak across and get these fish in. Well, I'm moving off. Everywhere. There's a shoal of much smaller fish there. Ooh. Easily spooked. A fish there. Must be a shoal of about 20. Holy roach. The smaller fish have moved a little closer to the surface. Well, I'm amazed just how many fish there are here. And how big they are. And there's nobody fishing down at this end. Not at all. So this is the very bottom end of the lake. It's obviously a dam here. But sometimes trees have been cleared off there so they have access to it. And there's a there's a little island, and under there is a great big fish. Every now and then it dives up and grabs some, a tremendous splash. So I'm just standing on the dam looking upstream. This is, this is Peg 17. Just out there. There's a peg I was standing on. Didn't have a peg number on. Where these big fish were. There's a lovely flower, yellow flag, which appears at this time of year. Absolutely beautiful. 
growing on the sides of Highfield Pond or Highfield Lake, whatever you want to call it. So I'm standing on Peg 18. And straight out from here. Oh, some cruising fish. I, mean, I have no idea what they are. So there you can see the cars over there, and now I'm on the sort of left bank of this lake, making my way back up to the car. This particular part of the lake is quite busy because there's no weed. And kind of the geese with the little flotilla of offspring. This chap's having a, a nice peaceful day here. This part, it's not very deep apparently, this particular point. But amazingly, he's having to go early because his brother's got a pigeon in a race from the south of England. That really is a dying art. I thought fishing was a dying art, but certainly pigeon racing is a dying art. But yeah. Nice to hear. Well, I'm standing on peg 28. And this is quite a busy corner, this little bit. Little island out there. You see the pegs opposite, they're all empty. <laughs> well, there's one over there. And there's a couple of fellas here, and then there's two more down there fishing with the pole. There's some lovely bluebells there, they're obviously not... What are they? Well, they're bluebells, they're not, they're not English, yeah. they're not English bluebells. No. That's a lovely flower, but it's not an English bluebell. It's wildlife. Well, that's a view back up uh, Highfield Lake. It's a lovely place, I have to say. Peaceful and... Uh, Lots of spare places in there. I suspect it's because the cup fire was on at four o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? Anyway, I'm going to make my way from here down to Kipax. Anyway, from Highfield Lake, take care. Bye bye.